I am Dr. Mohammad Hashim from Department of Applied Physics. Today I am going to demonstrate an experiment which is based on the use of galvanometer and the objective of this experiment is to convert the western type galvanometer into an ammeter and into a voltmeter of desired ranges. The various apparatus used for this experiment is dial type, potential box, a galvanometer, this is our galvanometer, this is our dial type potential box, resistance boxes of high resistance box, a high resistance box also used for this experiment and these are the battery eliminator, battery eliminator is also used for performing this experiment. So these are the main apparatus which are used for performing our experiment. Uh, before starting this experiment, first of all, I would like to explain briefly what is an ammeter and what is a voltmeter. Essentially, an ammeter is a current measuring device which is nothing but a, a special type of galvanometer with a very low resistance connected in parallel with galvanometer and this low resistance connected in parallel is called as a shunt. Whereas a voltmeter is a voltage measuring device which is nothing but a, a special type of galvanometer with a very high resistance connected in series with galvanometer. Thus it may be noted that both ammeter and voltmeter are a special type of galvanometer. Now I will discuss the formula used which is used for performing this experiment. First of all we will discuss about conversion into ammeter. We know that an ammeter is basically a low resistance galvanometer. This is achieved by uh, connecting suitable low resistance in parallel which is called a shunt with the galvanometer coil the value of the required shunt is given by the formula we will calculate the value of shunt resistance and the value of shunt resistance is given as ig into g upon a minus ig where s is the resistance in ohm of the required shunt ig is the current which produces full scale deflection in the galvanometer and r is the resistance of the galvanometer coil a is the ammeter range in amperes. तो सबसे पहले हम हमें इसमें शंट की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट करना है, जिसको हम फाइंड करने के लिए, we will use this formula S is equal to I G into G upon A minus I G. इस प्रैक्टिकल में हम गैलेनोमीटर को ऐसे एमीटर में कन्वर्ट करेंगे, जिसकी रेंज 5, 10 and 15 एमपियर हो, यानी कि वो 5, 10 और 15 एमपियर तक के करंट को इजली मेजर कर पाए। तो यहाँ पर जो A लिखा हुआ है, here please see here in the formula, यहाँ पर जो A लिखा है, ये 5, 10 और 15 एमपियर को शो करेगा, यानी कि ये A, ये A equals to एमीटर ऑफ रेंज को शो कर रहा है। यहाँ पर IG वो करंट है जिसमें गैलोनोमीटर फुल स्केल डिफ्लेक्शन शो करता है और इसको फाइंड आउट करने के लिए हमारे पास एक फार्मूला होता है। Similarly for converting our galvanometer into voltmeter we will use the circuit diagram and by using this formula RS equals to V upon IG minus G capital G RS is the required resistance for converting this galvanometer into voltmeter and V is the voltmeter range here we are for voltmeter range we required also 5, 10 and 15 volt range and G is the resistance of the galvanometer. For this purpose to determine the value of shunt a simple wheat stone breeze circuit please here this is a simple stone breeze we have made a simple stone wheat stone breeze by using this four post office potential box is used and here only the difference is that now galvanometer please see here galvanometer is connected here in the unknown arm CD here is CD is the unknown arm and instead of uh, connecting the galvanometer in the BDR this is the galvanometer arm basically but here what we have done here here the galvanometer arm the galvanometer is connected across the CD uh, so here only one difference is that galvanometer is connected in the unknown arm CD of breeze instead of the gal galvanometer arm. Here galvanometer arm BG which is sh uh, shorted. In this circuit galvanometer is playing two different roles namely first is that it is acting as a deflecting device and the second one is then uh, second one is that it is acting as an unknown resistor.
Oh, I am going to make the connection as shown in the figure. Please, oh, this, please see this figure. This is our very high resistance box. This is our high, re very high resistance box. This is our E terminal. This is our C terminal. And uh, this is galvanometer. Please see here, this galvanometer is connected across uh, the terminal C and D. So, first of all, I am connecting uh, the galvanometer. Please see here, I am connecting the galvanometer. <coughs> I have connected the galvanometer across the CD. Please see here now. I am connecting the negative terminal of the battery, negative terminal of the battery to the uh, one terminal of the resistance box. Uh, now I am going to demonstrate our circuit. Uh, this is our circuit arrangement of uh, conver for conversion of galvanometer into an ammeter and voltmeter. And uh, please see here, this is our galvanometer. Here we have connected the galvanometer. This is our high resistance box. We have connected a high resistance box with battery eliminator. This is our battery eliminator. And this is our P arm. And this is our Q arm. And this is our R arm. These are the R arms only. And uh, this, this is the key K1 and this is key K2. Uh, to begin this experiment, uh, perform the following steps. Step number 1. Set the values of ratio arm P and Q as 10 raised to 10. Please see here. This is our P arm. Uh, this is our Q arm. I am um, adjusting this P and these P and Q arms at 10 is to 10. Please see here, this is our multiplier. This is one multiplier. This is one and this is 10. Now I have adjusted the P arm at 10 and uh, I this is our Q arm and I also have adjusted the Q arm at 10. In step number two, introduce a resistance of one ohm uh, in R arm. Please see here, this is our R arm. And now I am introducing, uh, this is our multiplier, this is 10 multiplier, this is 100 multiplier, and this is 1000 multiplier or R arms. Now I am going to introduce 1 ohm resistance. Now I have adjusted the 1 ohm resistance. And uh, now what I will do, I will press the key K1. So now introduce the resistance of 1 ohm in R arm with key K1, which is already pressed. Please see here, K1 is already pressed and while K2 is closed. Now press K2. Now I am pressing the K2 and note the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer needle. Please see here. Uh, this is decreasing. Please see. This is decreasing. Uh, this is our step number 2. So in step number 2 what we, what we have to do? We have to introduce a 1 ohm resistance here. Please see here. I have introduced a 1 ohm resistance in R arm with key K1 is which is already pressed and note, uh, now I am uh, noting the deflection while K2 is closed. Now, and I, now I am pressing the key K2 and I am noting the direction of deflection of the galvanometer. Please see here the direction of, and direction of deflection of the galvanometer is decreasing here. Now in step number 3, I am introducing 1000 ohm resistance, this please see here, now I am adjusting 1000, this is 1000 multiplier and I am now, uh, what I am doing, now I am introducing 1000 ohm resistance in R arm and repeat step number 2, I am repeating the step number 2 and uh, after repeating the same step uh, as we have done in step number 2, now I am no, I'm noting the direction of deflection of the galvanometer again, please see here, now I am again noting it, please see here, uh, this is increasing this is increasing so what we have confirmed here this confirms that our connection is okay and this also confirms that the resistance capital G resistance of the galvanometer lies between 1 ohm and 100 ohm so in our experiment what we have done we have adjusted the value of P and Q arm at, T, at 10 is to 10 ratio and we have selected the two values of R arms 
uh, at 1 we have seen that the value of is decreases uh, the galvanometer deflection is decreases and at 1000 ohm or for r arm it is showing the increasing tend and from this observations we have concluded here that our connection is all right and we have also concluded that our galvanometer resistance capital g which is heavy which has to be find out in this experiment here uh, will lie between the two values now what we will do we will set we will decrease the now we will reduce this difference such that we find two nearest values in in our arms for which the deflection reverses the direction say here please see here i am i am taking randomly two values i am setting first 20 ohm and this is a, my one, one multiplier this is my 10 multiplier and this is my thousand multiplier and uh, i am adjusting the value please see here and now i have adjusted the r value at 20 ohm this is my 20 ohm and uh, one multiplier i am adjusting one multiplier at six so now it will read as 26 ohm so please see here after pressing the key k1 and adjusting the closing the key k2 i am seeing that it is showing the decreasing trend okay okay at so please see here at r r for at 26 ohm it is showing the decreasing trend at 26 ohm it is showing the decreasing trend now i am going to adjust the r arms at 27 at 26 it is showing the decreasing trend and at 27 i am adjusting the r value at 27 please here now this is this will read the 27 now i have adjusted it at 27 ohm at 27 ohm again i will check it it is showing the increasing trend it is showing the increasing trend so similar process you have to repeat it again and for finding out the more accuracy you have to what we will do uh, we will please see here there after calculating we will find out the value of capital g it is small than uh, 27 and is greater than 26 now what i will do i will adjust it the value of p p p at i will cap p at 100 ohm and q at 10 ohm so similar process you have to follow again so now what we will do we will again now what we will do now we will change the value of ratio p and q at as 100 is to 10 first 100 is to 10 and by adjusting 100 is to 10 and by repeating the same procedure as we have followed in step number two and third and we have find out the value of r as 260 269 and at 269 it is showing the decreasing trend our deflection direction of the deflection of the galvanometer is showing the decreasing trend and at 27 the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer is showing the increasing trend increasing behavior at is two 69 is showing the decreasing behavior and at 270 it is showing the increasing behavior same procedure you have in the uh, same procedure you have to follow then now you have to adjust it the p as 1000 and q as uh, 10 so by adjusting p as 1000 p, p ratio 1000 and q as 10 we find we find the value of uh, flow from our arms as 2695 it is at 26 uh, 2695 it is showing the decreasing trend and at 2696 uh, it is showing the increasing trend so similar the same procedure you have to follow and we have completed our first table and we from this uh, we can find out the uh, value of the galvanometer of the resistance capital G now in the second part for the determination of IG I will make the connections as shown in the figure please see here this is our figure and, uh, and uh, now I will make the connections as shown in the figure and this is the, our cell and this is a high, high resistance box this is key and this is galvanometer now I am going to make the connections as Please see here, this is our resistance box, this is the, our resistance box. Now I am going to connect this resistance box with the galvanometer. I have connected this uh, resistance box with the one terminal of the galvanometer. This is, please see here, this is connected with the galvanometer. And uh, this, this uh, terminal is connected with the positive terminal of the cell. And uh, this negative of the connected is uh, connect, connected to the galvanometer this is galvanometer and the another terminal another terminal of the galvanometer is connected through key please, please see here i have made all the connections as shown in the figure now what you have to do please see here the for measurement of current per unit length you have to following the following steps 
make connections as shown in the figure and uh, i have made all the connections as shown in the figure now in step number two what you have to do record the number of divisions of deflection of galvanometer for different values of high resistances please see here and this, this, there are different values of resistances here now what what we have to do high resistance in resistance box now i will open i will open i, I will take the resistance uh, from, from the resistance box here and place here and now I, what i will do i will check the i will check the galvanometer deflection of the galvanometer and uh, now i am increase i am going to uh, increase the resistance value please here yes and uh, now i will note the corresponding value of resistance um corresponding of the value of resistance please see here it is showing here that uh, it is at uh, 20 the deflection of the galvanometer is at 20 now and you have to written the high resistance in the resistance box the resistance value that you have find out from here you have to written here and number of division of the galvanometer please see here and uh, suppose here the number of the number of deflection of the galvanometer is showing here as 20 so 20 would will be written here as here and potential difference of the battery eliminator here the potential difference of the galvanometer uh, potential difference uh, of the battery eliminator is 2 volt so 2 volt will be written here and by using this formula current in the circuit uh, i equals to e upon x plus g g have uh, we have already calculated g by using the previous table we have calculated g and uh, uh, by using this formula we will find out the current per unit division of the deflection i by n so here some parameters uh, should be known uh, here total number of division of the galvanometer capital n is 25 so you have taken the total number of division of the galvanometer as 25 so by using all the parameters you can find out all the uh, parameters you can find out the you can convert the uh, western type galvanometer into ammeter and uh, you can convert also it as volt meter of desired ranges here the ranges of the galvanometer and ammeter is as 5 10 and 15 volt so these are the our two circuits that we have by using the first circuit by using the PO box uh, we have finding out the value of capital G and uh, resistance of the galvanometer uh, resistance of the galvanometer and in the second part we have find out the IG IG is the deflection of the galvanometer okay maximum deflection shown by the galvanometer so by calibrating this one we have find out finding out the IG and also we have find out the a capital G resistance of the galvanometer. So thus I have demonstrated the complete experiment for the galvanometer and this is one of the use of the galvanometer and here we have find out how the galvanometer can be converted into voltmeter and how a galvanometer can be used as a ammeter for desired energy. Thank you very much.